Hey guys, welcome back to the Crooked Man. When we last left off, we helped Sissy get across this magnificent gap, which is probably... I mean, I guess that's kind of a big gap if you figure it's about the size of the bed, and the bed's probably five, six feet tall, you know, I guess it would be kind of big. Um... So now I'm not entirely sure what to do. Didn't get any keys. Um, right? Oh, wrong one. We have this brass key. Still level one. Hmm. Guess it's just time to go back and check every room. It's still locked. It's still locked. Hmm. It's times like this where I should pay more attention. Is there anything else in here? Shelves are empty, the dresser's empty, the clock is stopped. Keyholes paint's over. Did I get a code? For the door, I don't think I did. So, hmm. perhaps something fell in the room under it, the one that fell. Can I not check that? I guess not, since there was already something there. It's kind of silly. All right. Hmm. Shelves are empty. This is still painted over. It's locked with a passcode. So. There's gotta be something in here. I would think. Can I light this by chance? Oh. There was a crooked man, yeah. It's our special place. Okay, so I can buy what other choice do I have? Hmm. Maybe something in one of the beds. No. Okay, then there's got to be something in here, right? I would think so. Decorative plant collecting dust. This plant doesn't have anything for me. These bookshelves, do they have anything for me? That is the question. I don't think I'm supposed to go to the basement again. That really wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Curly unseen, yeah. Hmm. Let's try not going to the basement, but going to the owner's room. Maybe there's something in there that I need. Four chapters of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the page, please report. Okay. The basement door is open. Okay, yep, I was supposed to come back here. Lighter. It's gone. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, a shiny. There's something here. Got a bronze key. Big barrels. It's always good when the monster, you know, gone. So we got a bronze key. 
Will that go to the bar, maybe? Because the gold key went to the library. That would be my guess. Yep. Two beer bottles. Beer bottles. A glass. Journal seems by my staff maybe the last page of rambling softly written. To a store owner who left his employees and fled into the night, we'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of his of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Selling weird stuff at the basement door, having a number lock on a few stores, all this silly crap made the place impossible to run. Plus, the passcode was this thing with a book, which he changed everyone. What the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for sure. Whatever. Wait, the dude is. The passcode of the store is pretty crazy. Alright. Is there anything else in here that I needed? Brandy, it's got tone back on this. I'm gonna just catch fire if I drink this. Wait, what? Okay, that seems like it'll be important later on. Okay. So. It has something to do with. This thing with the book, so possibly the book in office, maybe, or the staff room, or whatever it was. Four chapters missing. I would assume that would be the passcode, but the good to be wrong. Diary. Okay. Copy paper. Do -do -do -do. Okay. Um. Hmm. Book of the month. Book of the month. Book of the month. The strange case of Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. So that'd be T. Maybe. Okay. That didn't take me too long to figure out. To the library we go. T. The blackboard in the owner's room said the strange case of Dr. Jekyll must try it. It'd be on the shelf, right? That's what I was thinking. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Mr. Blah Blah. Chapter 1. Story of the door. 2. Okay, so 3. Six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. Oh, no. 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 No, why? No, no wait. That monster did it really? Nope. This is a lot of nope. This is a lot of nope. Please don't. Please don't. It's coming this way. Crap, I gotta escape. Gotta escape. Gotta escape. Gotta escape. Um. Oh, I can't save. What do I? What do I? Oh, yeah. 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 No, it murdered me dead. How do I sprint? <laughs> oh, my God. When was the last time I saved? Okay, so I need to save. Before exiting the library. Oh crap, biscuits. Uh, okay, so now I just need to go in here, read this. Okay, so how am I gonna escape the monster? Do I just need to book it? Ha! Yeah, guys, book it. I had to read a book. Alrighty. Three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. 
Yeah, that's... That's lovely, buddy. But I don't wanna. I really don't wanna, buddy. Come on, come on. Why you gotta be so creepy? This is... It's so loud. No, you go this way. How about you don't? How about you don't? How about you don't? How about you don't? He's so freaking fast! What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? He's so fast. Maybe I can lock the door behind me or something? And disappear into one of these other rooms? Oh lordy. Did I nope? Okay. Um. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here then? I highly doubt I run back to the library. There's. Do I have to? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. It doesn't seem to be a way to outrun him. So it only leaves. It really only leaves you one option. Yes, yes, jump down there. No, you jump down there. No, you jump down there. Or we could push it down there. That would make more sense. <laughs> what is that monster? So what I saw earlier, damn, I can't believe such a thing exists. There's no way it's coming back now. The room's on, the room under is locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I know it would be dangerous for her. It says three, six, seven, nine. So I mean, I gotta find Sissy. Sissy, you wait. You can, you can wait, Sissy. I gotta, I gotta go put in this passcode. Alright, so she's not in either of these rooms. Three, six, seven, nine. Bingo. Shiny. You see something shiny, but it's out of reach. Can I take this knife? That knife would be nice. Do I. Wooden box. Do I. Oh, there's a ladder right here. A ladder could use this to get up to the thing. Yes, David, yes we could. Got the key to 210. Can I take this knife with me? Please. Smells rotten. What did that say? Maxwell table or cookie does. Can I please take that knife with me? So 210 would be on the upper right, I believe. If it follows the same um, style as the bottom, it would be on the right. Yep, and it'll be at the very end of the hallway. I know that would be the first door. No, it would be the last door. I keep... I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we're gonna save real quick. I have a bad feeling about this. Bad feeling about a lot of things, though. Shelves are empty. There's something in the middle of the floor, obviously. Looks like something was badly burnt. Is this a photo? Looks like it was a woman. Hmm, there's something under the pieces. Got a scrap from a notebook. I don't need her memory anymore. I know she won't come back. So I have to forget everything, good and bad. Ah, my head hurts. Whew, it settled down. Jeez, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. So he burnt this photo to clear his broken heart, huh? I I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Not ever. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Sissy! Oh, there you are, David. 
did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms I can't go in, so it might be in one of those. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing, but, sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger, too. So I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either, but there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? Uh, sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. It's I'm telling the truth. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but... A monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I'd like to think you're right. Alright, if you insist. But be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. <sighs> Little does she know there's a crooked man on the loose. Wasn't there something under there? Stop. Dresser's empty. Shelves are empty. It's like the bathroom. That sounded like brandy spilling. Excuse me? Nope. There's some red stuff on the ground. Message in red. Was this here before? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Leave me alone. Please, leave me alone. Come to me. I'm waiting for you. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? Wh why? I dropped you down a pit. Crap, I gotta do something. Brandy bottle, brandy bottle. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't just stand there. Hit it upside the head, bro. I guess that much. What, what else can I do? You can, uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, run away. Run away, run away. Run away. Did I hit it upside the head again? I can, uh, leave. That's what I can. Nope! So leaving is not the answer. Damn. Well, guys, I'm going to think I'm going to end this video here. When we come back next time, we will try to defeat the crooked man. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys are enjoying. Goodbye, everyone.